How's it going, everybody? It is your favorite apostates. My name is McKay. My name is Jordan. And we're going uh, lightning fast today because the video that we are watching and reacting to (laughs) is pretty long, and I don't want to be editing until 3 a.m. this morning. So, uh, rapid fire, we had our patron-only Zoom Zoom call call. on Saturday. It was amazing. We got to know some of our awesome patrons. I should have taken a picture or something. Um, Yeah, we should have. We'll do that um, next time. They don't need to have their identities revealed. If they don't want to. They're going to outer darkness like us. Holla, you can meet them there. Anywho. Anywho, um, check out our Etsy store. Our stickers have been blowing up. Um, I think... New launch is coming. New products are coming. Yes, we're super maybe stoked. Not this Friday, but probably the next Friday, we're going to get shit in order. And then we're going to um, do a couple, a couple more stickers to drop. So uh, keep your eye out and for that. And some other things. Yeah, we are shipping orders. So put an order in. We're usually shipping them like way ahead of time from our estimated uh, ship date. Time. So yeah. yeah, check it out. It's awesome. I'm yeah, the, the link is in the description. Happy Brain Collective. So yes. check it out. Anyway, Jordan. Our video today. So a lot of you guys have asked us to look at some of the Mormon family vloggers that are out there. And some of them are on our radar because we, um, because of Josh, because of Josh from the dad challenge podcast. So in the same spirit, we feel like with our Mormon knowledge, yeah, we have a unique perspective on these Mormon family vloggers and some of them are very cringe. So we're not out here to let's clarify. We're not out here to say that every Mormon family vlogger is bad because that's not the case. I'm sure there's maybe some that are not problematic, but we are here. But if you're using your children to gain money, that is unethical. There's no way to get about it. So they could be great people, but when they're doing this, I'm sorry, you're just you're on the shit list. We don't have any tolerance don't use your for kids. exploitation of children. Children cannot consent. They cannot. Children don't have the ability to decide whether or not the information that's being shared or their faces or inappropriate conversations that shouldn't be broadcasted publicly like we're going to talk about today. So they're not able to decide any of that because they don't have the decision-making skills yeah. to do that right now. So let's hop in to what today's video is about because it is major cringe. Yeah. So I'm talking with my hands so much. Ooh. I'm sorry. Today's video, we're going to be talking about not enough Nelsons. Um, and we're to just which gonna I get, say there are plenty. There are plenty of Nelsons, <laughs> but let's just get right into it. So I skipped the little, for lack of a better term, cold open. Um, a, because it's goofy, and I think it's in the video, so I didn't want to watch it twice okay, and waste like two um, two minutes or so. I also skipped most of the intro because um, I there's, there's a lot of kids I just don't want to... I mean, there's 17 kids, and most of them are minors. 16. There's 16? Yeah. That's what their video says. Okay. Okay. They're, well, um, they almost have 900,000 subscribers for reference. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. They have videos with millions of views on it. Um, I saw an article somewhere along the line researching them saying that they're, some of the money that they had gotten from YouTube is up there in the $900,000 range, which Jesus. is not a small amount. So there are like a mix of adopted and not adopted kids in here. Um, and my understanding is their whole shtick is because they have so many kids, which is not really yeah. unique in Mormon well, land. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, but it's also, I'm pretty sure that even though these kids get adopted, they are required to go to church with them. Yeah. So that's something um, we can that talk wouldn't about. Be, um, that's that wouldn't be, um, that wouldn't be, yeah, I, I do not think that's appropriate at all. Um, they may be legally your kids, but, um, forcing something on them that's not part of who they are is not cool. Um, that's not even to tell of them. Didn't you say that they change their names and they Uh share their stories, which is just not. So if we did, if you do a deep dive on these people that are deeply problematic, we are not the first 
YouTubers to yeah. cover this issue. Josh has covered them yeah. at length as well. Yeah, and this video is kind of born of uh, the video that Josh did about them. This was more recent. He watched one that, that was about 11 months ago, almost a year ago. Um, this is more recent with a different kid who seems like she's older. Um, but this is The Talk. It's kind of funny because the <laughs> I'll throw both of the videos up there. The bottom one is the old one. The top one is the new one. It's the same thumbnail. <laughs> they just recycle. So I guess it's pro I'm anticipating that this is pretty much the same video, uh, just with a different kid. But um, anyway. So yeah, this is, and I know that their stands are gonna come over here and be like, "They're good people." And I don't I'm like, give a shit. That's fine, but. Again, bottom line here is we're exploiting children. And the second thing is, like, we're talking about the sex talk, okay? Like, yeah. these people are giving their child the sex talk on a YouTube video in a public place if it was, like, the last one like, that they Like, very did. public. Like, like, a restaurant. Yeah, and not even that, but the internet is the most public venue that you could find, so. So let's jump in. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Not Enough Nelson. So for today's video, we are going to be doing the talk with another one of our kiddos. We filmed one of these before, as you might remember, with Paisley. Oh, I remember. But oh, after yeah. I got done filming Paisley, I was talking to Navy, and it dawned on me that back when... That maybe that video was a little inappropriate. I hope is what she's going to say. Oh, you know. She did her talk. It wasn't really the full shebang. It was a little bit crazy. Oh, uh, so... I'm going to re-give her the talk so that we can get more views. Yeah, because it, it got a lot of clicks last time. Got a lot of clicks last time. She was back and forth with her birth mom, and we hadn't fully adopted her. And I don't know, I just didn't want to step on any toes. It was just a lot different back then. And so she didn't get the full hurrah experience. At, at the very least, it wasn't, she was like not trying to overstep with her I don't birth know if that's mom. actually true or not, but if it is, that's yeah. at least my if, fault. Yeah, I, I choose to believe that that might be the actual um if that's story. the case then that's at least a good yeah. thing however now she's capitalizing it on it so doesn't really matter it doesn't even cancel that out so. it's a wash and the memory that the rest of the kids have gotten and so i'm actually gonna surprise her today with taking her out on the special date and letting her dress up and all of that kind of stuff and giving her the special this thing that you follows saw. the hey, same pattern the as the other oh, video that was right around the time that we were getting her back and forth. And anyway, you can watch more about her adoption story. I'll link it up here. But she, they put her adoption story out there so that they can make money off of ad revenue on again, YouTube. Again, this child is not old enough to consent to having their story shared and maybe some unpleasant aspects of their story shared. If that's something that this child wants to do when they're an adult. And yeah. that's something that they want to do, then more power to you. Absolutely. But Tiffany making this decision for her and, yeah, and profiting can, off of it. She can say all she wants that, oh, well, she wanted to. Uh, I'm pretty sure the kid just wants some love and possibly could be doing anything to get that affection. So It's inappropriate no matter how you slice yeah. it. Um, this is a huge theme in the Mormon church. Informed consent does not exist in the Mormon church. Come after me. Literally, I thought that Joseph Smith was not even involved in polygamy until this year. I was a Mormon missionary, didn't even look into it because it never came up kind of person. Informed consent doesn't exist in becoming a Mormon and informed consent Informed consent doesn't exist in going to the temple either. So Remember that these kids are set to be baptized at age eight, and Mormons think that it is the child's decision to be baptized. They highly emphasize that it's the child's decision. They just decision. want to make their parents like An eight-year-old can't proud. consent yeah. to something they, like they're that. They're just going to do whatever to make their parents proud of them. I am really excited to have this talk with her today. I don't know I'm how not. it's going to go. I'm used to giving the talk to the kids when they're younger. And so, I don't know, their friends and, you know, internet and TV Does have like taught a box them all about the birds and the, the bees, background? or at least their version of it. Jesus. But Navy's 13, and so she probably knows a lot so more. Yeah. I mean, I t So I'm going to tell her all this stuff again so I can capitalize off of it. Yep. And maybe I'm we'll get some more juicy stuff like, when she's older. Oh my god like 
This is so inappropriate, you guys. me this is not the main purpose of this. Some things a long time ago, but I'm sure she knows a lot more now, so I'm not really sure if I have a ton of answers to a bunch of questions like I did with Paisley, but I do want her to get the feeling and understand that she can come to us with anything, and if- She might not have a ton of answers. What a, what complex questions are you asking? Like, <laughs> If there's anything outside of missionary, I, I can't tell you about it. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just say before people come for us, I will say, like, giving the sex talk is extremely important. Giving it young is extremely important. And it's awkward as shit. I totally understand. Totally that. feel that. I that's totally not our it. that's not our beef here. And so if Tiffany decided that she wanted to share this information to help other parents, she could do this in a way that did not exploit her, her child. children. Like, yeah. I'm sure they have a blog, right? So she could do a blog post about it and be like, hey, this is the process. We do X, Y, Z. We let them dress up. We take them out to dinner. We answer their questions. Like, there would be literally nothing wrong with that. Like, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that scenario. Broadcasting the scenario for God and everybody to see, that's the problem. It's it's totally inappropriate. And this, <laughs> I mean, with her younger daughter, I feel like that could be an, a scarring experience for life. Imagine if your friends in middle school got a hold of a video of your parents giving you the sex talk. Kids are mean, man. I would be f***ing mortified. Don't give kids more ammo to be Abs rude yeah. to other kids because they would take something they like get, this and run with it. They get bullied like... <laughs> Bullying has existed for, like, as long as children have existed. Like, in my so. therapy brain, I'm seeing, like, these poor kids going to therapy and being like, yeah, when my mom gave me the sex talk, she did it on YouTube in front of 900,000 subscribers, and it got millions of views. Yeah. And yeah. I was underage. Yeah. We are able to talk about sex openly with her, then we should be able to talk about anything openly with her. And so I want that for her. I want the memory of the dressing up and having it be her special day so that she can remember how special and okay, sacred also, this is. Why does Ooh, it have and to sacred. be? sacred. <laughs> also, why does it have to be like you can only dress up and have a special day when you're getting the sex talk. Like now we start getting into the problem of having multiple children and not being able to give each of them attention when they need it, because it's literally impossible. You cannot slice and dice yourself 16 different ways yeah. and meet all of the needs of your children all the time. That's just straight facts. Yeah. That's just what it is. You chose to have that many kids, adopt that many kids. That's fine. But that's something you have to accept. And so the fact that yep. this is treated as like this whole, oh, she gets her own special day and she gets to dress up. Like, why couldn't you just do that? Like regularly, like you're going out to dinner. Great she question. wants to dress up. Yeah. Why does and it have to be with sex involved? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling spicy right now. <laughs> If you're the kind of person who thinks that a uh, loving couple that belongs to the LGBTQIA crowd should not be able to adopt a child, you should also talk shit about these people who absolutely, there's absolutely no possible way that they can parent these children the way that they need to be parented. They have to have other people to do that. So if two individuals can't properly nurture one child then two individuals also can't properly parent 16 of them come at me i don't give a shit if somebody disagrees with that's that that's fair yeah her life and i also want to give her the special thing and explain to her that commitment between her and me and her dad with just honesty and all of those uh, so, let, let uh. me <laughs> let me set this up the special thing between her and her uh the kid, her, and her dad. Or how I, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> what are pronouns? Jeez. Um, it's gross. So I, I don't want to spoil it. But also coming from like more of a MSW student therapy perspective, like I see this like triangle forming here with the three of them. That like, looks a lot like something we call a meshment. Look it up. Look it up. I'll probably throw the definition up there. So I'm going to get ready, making the invite. I'm going to leave it on her bed for when she gets home from school. And then in a couple of I'll days, we will go like and long, annoying have shit. the talk. Here we go. Okay, guys, oh I was going to start God. film <laughs> doing her invite. And look at my laundry room. Like, seriously, yeah. But at least, you know what? Do we give at a shit about this? Folded, I'm going right? to skip That's forward a little bit. So... Wait, what's the first word? That's the most important <laughs> word of the whole entire <laughs> Okay, so she made a little invite and she Cute. placed it. Very Mormon. Very she's Mormon. She's like, in the last video, she's like, we put it on her bed so she can find it. But it was more like, 
here, I put it on my bed, and, I, and then I walk in with the camera. Oh, what do you see that's different in your room? Oh my God, look at over there on the pillow. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. So I'm assuming it's the same situation. <laughs> you are so. I, know, I don't know how to read that. Will he help you? You are invited. Oh, you are invited she on can't a recursive. very special date. This is like no other date before. I I can't read this. With cursive too, Sam. Yes. Type um, it. it. She probably has a cricket. She could have got the cricket to do it. Come on. Seriously. We have a cursive. Her cursive Still. isn't that bad, though. It's just oh, kids it's, these days yeah. can't read a cursive. <laughs> well, yeah, she could have picked a better font. True, I'm saying. true. Anyway. A, a, a special time to spend with mom and dad. Our- Why wouldn't she cut that out? Like, this would be so embarrassing for me if, like, I couldn't read my mom's handwriting. No, that kid. <laughs> That's rude. Right, are you ready? Yeah. So, yep. in a couple of days, we're going to get all dressed up and have a special day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. A couple of days, with too. Mom and dad. It seems so, like, not, like, it seems so ingenuine to me. Like, it seems inauthentic, like, very, like, hey, we're going to make a big deal out of you, and I'm going to remind you that you're special, but only because I can film it and then put it on YouTube and make money off of it. Yeah. Well, and then she gets a couple days to, like... Mull it over, like... Yeah, I that would just stress me out. I have anxiety, so that would give yeah, me anxiety. Yeah, when, uh... Thursday at yeah. seven, mm-hmm. wear a fancy restaurant. Wear your fancy clothes. Get ready for a special night. Love, <laughs> love, mom and dad. That was kind of important. It could have been from someone else, oh, you know, it's, like a it's secret admirer. The sound effects said. for me. Also, I won't be blurring faces in this because it's kind of pertinent to what's going on, and it would be the entire video. So, disclaimer. So, you Usually, might I would be in a little bit of trouble. Wait, what? <laughs> all right, all right. Say, see you in a couple days. Okay, she looks see nervous. See you in a couple days. Okay. Oh guys, my God. So- can we just talk about like, feeding her lines? Well, and it, can we just talk about like I just had this conversation with my daughter. We're going out to dinner in a few days, and I'm like, see you in a few days because I won't see you before then. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> also, this this video came out this year. The decor is like super Mormon, mid two thousands Mormon. Yeah. Can we get um twenty twenties Mormon, please? Thank you. So well, it is Thursday, and I'm gonna go check and see how many. I haven't doing. seen her but since. Say, For real, I'm though. I'm a little bit nervous, and that sounds so weird. I'm just talking to my daughter, but she's older, and like I don't know, like when- she might know things that I don't. <laughs> Because I grew up Mormon and my parents no one told didn't me, me anything. Yeah, nobody gave me, told me anything. One day, my OBGYN, right before I got married, gave me this little thing. It looked like a. D- <laughs> and she's gonna gonna have ask. To I don't really know how to approach it as I'm much. I approach it very like childlike and simple when they're like eight or nine because I don't know. It's just everything's from mommy and daddy, and they're just so like open. I think eight eight or nine is um, in um, the prime. Yeah, it might be yeah. a little on the late end. Some, According to research, sometimes. if you have it, like kids have been exposed to the topic of sex via friends or the internet at least by eight years old, and so okay. having that talk prior to eight or at eight is is good. Paramount. Yeah. So that's good, like third grade. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Into hearing things that has been like tainted by the world, making it like yucky and embarrassing. Oh, but I, there we go. That's very yucky. Mormon. Like at thirteen, Ooh. it's already kind of like embarrassing to talk about it to your mom and dad. So. I don't know. Hopefully, because we've talked about it, you know, we're just open dialogue a lot at my house. And so it's not like we don't talk about sex at my house. We do. But I still like to be one on one. It could be very Uh, awkward. So I'm just trying really hard to think in my mind, like how I want to approach. She has like real uh, young women's president for like 20 years straight vibes. For real. And how I want to say it in like the least awkward way possible. (laughs) Anyway, wish me luck with that. I'm still kind of thinking through those things. But let's go check on Navy and see how she's doing. Miss Navy Grace, where are you? Are you getting ready? Yep. All right. So you look great. <laughs> Gorgeous, by the way. Looking nice. Super what do you think cute. we're going to go do? Uh, Go eat. Go eat dinner. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good plan. All right. Get your <laughs> shoes on. Let's go. Okay. All right. Miss Navy's so all ready to go. Yeah. Something that I will like a... Uh, good a comment about mormon families nowadays is they usually teach their kids to dress like fairly well sometimes sometimes they like 
running around walking rocking like a faux hawk or some shit like that <laughs> it's 2021 y'all. she's very cute but again this seems like a very inauthentic experience and she's like oh my yeah. god mom she's put like, the camera in my face some more she's like oh good i get to go out with my parents but and you're gonna record the whole thing cost yeah. walk down the stairs daddy <laughs> yep okay uh when they gave the dad reveal last time the dude was rocking like a nike polo and some like golf shorts <laughs> they look and so nice little, and then dad little, is yeah, like their little girl she's like eight wearing like a prom dress style that's a very dad thing <laughs> oh, to do man. that's not selective to this family <laughs> but he could have just put his church clothes on who cares for real, for he real. knows how to dress better than that I hope he fixed it this time. Uh Uh-oh, I don't have high hopes. Let's see. Oh, he he looks much better. Thank you, Dad. (laughs) Thank you for fixing it, bro. Wait, wait, I gotta get in front of Amy. She probably was so pissed, and she's like, this time you cannot You have to wear something nice. You have to wear something nice. So many comments about it. You are looking as most beautiful as can be, aren't you? Oh, my God. But he probably like, total thirteen year old right here. Yeah, you're embarrassing. <laughs> he probably that video he probably just came off the golf course. This one he's probably just coming home from work. work so it's probably yeah. just like could be <laughs> probably <laughs> just a fluke. Her in a closet. Yeah, I know. We're gonna, have to do something. Well, All right, we're gonna lock her. Oh, the closet. piano. <laughs> Guess who took piano lessons when they were a kid? Guess who didn't. That was the Guess bad who Mormon. never practiced? <laughs> that was me. But your mom was like not very, very like extreme Mormon at the time. No. Also, your mom doesn't know how to play any musical instruments. So. It's true. Okay, this is a video. <laughs> He's making so a commitment. In a few years, when a boy starts wanting to date you, we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna show you. Yeah, yeah. All the boys are gonna. Oh, that. so that's their that's, justification. That's a yikes. This is a little gross. That's a yikes. Don't worry, Dad. He will already have seen it. <laughs> Hang out with you and. Yeah. And I can tell him no, right? This is so no. cringe. Yeah, this is awkward. Oh, now you're gonna change it. Uh, <laughs> this is so awkward. awkward. Oh my mama. Yeah. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my good-looking, beautiful mama. You are so pretty. I am so lucky. She's like, shut up. She's like, this is my. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Turn the camera around. We're taking Navy on her talk. Talk. What are we gonna talk about? I am 13. I know. You know, I've already explained to the viewers that it was like, why will. I've already explained to the people that are watching. This is pertinent to share. We need more content. We need to share this because it gets clicks and uh, we need to take everybody. And I figured out a way to do it. So. Roll with it. Roll with it. You were back and forth, and we didn't really get the chance to like take you officially on the whole. Yeah. I keep calling it shindig. Do people not use that word anymore? A shindig is like I use that word. Shindig. Yeah. Yeah. I use that word. An event. We want yeah. to make sure you understand the things correctly. Yeah. And you need to have a conversation with your mom and dad so yeah. it's comfortable yeah. talking yeah. to us about that. Yeah, it's a good thing. All right, guys. So we are. Dr- they have a different car this time. Driving oh, it's like a nice car. We are going to eat Leather dinner. Seats. Yeah. Hopefully, we will get Utah? in. It's a busy night. This looks like St. No, George. No, I'm pretty sure they were uh, like Southern, maybe Southern Utah. Or, yeah, St. George or like Arizona. Looks Morador. Like but we are going to go been somewhere special. Really St. George. Right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to surprise Navy. She's never been to this place. Is that Chick-fil-A cup? before so there's going to be a lot of new fun exciting surprises going on tonight (laughs) so how is it Avi being on a date with mom and dad is it awkward (laughs) yeah like you literally just asked me this like this usually doesn't happen that's true there it is right there there's one of our major things this usually doesn't happen yikes guess when our son gets to go out with us. Well, not he doesn't go out with us because he's... Well, he goes everywhere with us, really. It's a pandemic, and my son can't be vaccinated yet. Um, but guess how often our son gets to do share cool us all us. the time. All the time. All the time. He gets to share us all the time. Literally. It's really us sad that this himself, is like so. a... This yeah. usually doesn't happen. Like I'm, And I'm not hitting on people who have like three kids or like four kids. Like yeah. that's not what we're talking about. I would, yeah. When we're talking about like 16 different kids, like there's By just no choice. way. There's just yeah. no way to stretch yourself that thin. Yeah. Like you when just you're can't. you're choosing to do this, you are choosing to not be able to parent them correctly. I'm also going to say, we can't just say, oh yeah, I, all, people with a lot of kids just can't parent them. 
I recognize that there are people that they are in a situation where they can't really control that and they just have a lot of kids because they don't have the resources to not. So and the other piece of this is it's not like we're saying that they're like purposefully being bad parents. The thing is, is that these people generally come from a place of good intentions of wanting to adopt all these kids and wanting to provide a good home and good parenting and stability to all these kids. But the problem is you just can't. So even though your intentions are good and even though that's what you want, like you just cannot stretch yourself that thin. Like you can't. You cannot give these kids equally the same parenting style the same experience the same like you can't Mm -hmm. you can't yeah so i hope that they have hired help nannies or whatever so that they can get the kids everything that they need and not just kids raising kids because that really sucks that's super warm all right oh yeah holy washed the out this looks like oh red lobster i've never been to red lobster my parents were always like going yeah, it looked like she was barefoot. <laughs> I've never been to Red Lobster, and my parents were always like, oh, Red Lobster is gross. And I think it's because that it's really expensive, and <laughs> they just want to take all I've never thing. been either. Yeah. Lo- People are going to comment a, and be like, what? It's a sea cockroach. That's disgusting. Ew. Y- yeah, gross. Not my... Masks. Favorite. Oh, they're wearing masks. That's a shock. It is a shock. All right, so we chose a place tonight to go to eat that Mamie's never been to. <laughs> Mamie well, we either. To a red lobster. She can f- read, dog. <laughs> Dude. They're treating her so like. It's patronizing. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. It's red super lobster. patronizing. So we are going for the first time to have her try lobster crab. Ooh. Yep. Would you like His it? ring looks like it's cow pattern. pattern. Good. Yeah. It's okay. just the lobster. It does. I can't <laughs> tell. That would be. I would get a cow pattern ring. I think that's, that's not sick his wedding if that's ring, the case. Why? Why does he? Maybe it's a CTR ring. Could be. Could be. Bad thing, Dad. I'm kind of nervous about this. It's gonna be so good. Yummy. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I would be nervous too. Your dad doesn't even think that you can f- read. <laughs> She's super uneasy, and that just, I like, for. I get what they're trying to do here. I applaud them for having the sex talk with their children because a lot of, like, I was a teacher here in Utah, and you would be shocked how many kids, like, and how many, like, grown adults that I interact with never had the sex talk from their parents. And so I applaud them for at least doing this. However, it's making her super uneasy, and when we have like nervousness and uneasiness and right and wrong and good and bad, all we do is attach yeah. shame to this experience. Well, and it, even more so in this situation, you also have the um, dichotomy of obedience and sin. Yeah. Where yeah. obedience is obeying the law of chastity, which is not having sex before you get married and staying monogamous after you get married. Yeah. And if you don't, it's a sin so bad that you have to go talk to a bishop. priesthood leader, yeah. the bishop. So, I would eat it every single day if I could. Every day. <laughs> yeah, he would. They could. They're rich enough. Ew. That's so sadistic. Like, you have. <laughs> I hate the fact that <laughs> the they're like alive right and then people are like, oh, yeah, let's go. That's boil kind them. of part of the reason. It's like. That's super mean. I couldn't look a cow in the eye before I ate a burger. It's just not That's right. That's gross. Ooh, those the look biscuits good, are dank, though. Oh, she's got the nice the manicure, mix. too. I don't like the square, but... Uh, how long of montage is this? Seriously, can That's we, like, right let's Ready? hurry it up. Oh, right here. Wait, we're in front of the... Oh, lemon Ooh. teeth. Oh, yeah, this is total young women's um, president <laughs> vibes right here. It's also, like... Drinking if you're a drinker, which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> With the tequila? Yeah. I wouldn't know. I've never had tequila. That's actually not a lie. But Tequila's bad. They're at Red Lobster and they got crab legs to shit. <laughs> he didn't even get a lobster. <laughs> I'm getting hungry right now I'm watching this. <laughs> This is a toothpick. You're about to clean out your teeth when you're all done. I have had crab. It's okay. <laughs> all right, are you ready to see what you do? Yes. It's so yummy. Okay, so okay, do we need? Uh, yeah, we don't need okay, a so tutorial. I, I really like that. 
Okay. Holy oh, shit, she's still going. Go for it and chew it up. Holy shit, this is still going. Alright guys, maybe he's gonna try it again. Oh, yes. <sighs> and go. Get okay, to the yeah. point. Now, let's start out with a question. Okay. Have you oh, here we my are. <laughs> nice. Super 13 year old like right the there. Boing, 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 boing sound effect. Also, it, would it, on another note, it would be concerning to me if she has had it and her mother was unaware of that. Yeah. Because I have women in my family whose mothers never told them, and when they had it, they thought they were dying. <gasps> And like all kinds of things so i am very much a part of the club that this should be a part of the sex talk is informing them how those things work yeah <laughs> wow. tmi okay this no okay let's normalize talking no. about periods it's literally that's just the tmi same thing. but talking about sex with your 13 year old in a f red lobster is not tmi like okay tiffany come on G-rated. Come on. Baby. Okay. <laughs> now everybody's going to ask. G-rated. No, 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 See what we've yeah, done here? We've just assigned shame to that. Yep. Yeah. Shame. Shame sprinkles. Yep. Oh, we need to make a sticker for that. All up in there. Shame sprinkles up in this bitch. Wouldn't even answer. Now we're not answering. Anyways. Has any of you ever so, seen a Navy talk so much? She's I know. Actually, like, she's being a well, big Well, yeah, because everyone says sh I'm shy. That I feel like they're not that's... around her enough to know. Yeah. And so I'm trying to talk a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. I think that's one of my goals. That's one of your goals. Yeah. Thank you for the graphic explaining that, that she's was not shy. So very special. That goal right now, and I want you just to whispered it to the camera. So I want you to tell me what do you think the most awesome and incredible thing is in the whole world if you had to name something. Like what do you mean? Name something. Like what do you mean? Most like, awesome thing that you can think of. Like food or like what? This is another thing that I hate. Here, let me answer, ask you a question. I have a specific thing in mind. I want you to guess what I'm thinking. Yeah. That is so stressful and is not helpful at all. At all. The world is the limit. Anything? Mm -hmm. Like, what is the most dad. amazing thing? Dad. Like, she's going to say sex? What are they trying? What are they fishing she's for? Never, here? Yeah, she's never had sex. How? Well, is that what they're fishing she's for? She's probably never had sex, but. Or like. I'm, I'm Love between a man positive. and a woman, getting married in the temple. Like, what are they going yeah. for? I only have to name one? Yeah. No, you can name anything. Okay. All right, can I name a few? Yeah. Name a Playing f Stardew Valley on my Nintendo Switch, so that's the best thing in the world. Thank you. Okay. The most amazing thing, in, right? Mm -hmm. The most amazing thing in the world. <laughs> it can be dad. It can be mom. It can okay, be how about this? Like the planet. It can be the... <laughs> the planet is the most amazing thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say family. Facts now. Mom and dad. Mm, I like that. Okay, so why is family so amazing? Because they're just amazing. Because it's made up of people. Yeah. And why are people amazing? Because. Okay, hey, I, this is. This is so This childish. is making me uncomfortable. It's like they're. You can tell, and I mean, Tiffany said this outright, like, they're not used to giving this talk to a child at this age, and this, like, infantilizing, patronizing tone, yeah. and being like, why are people good? We went baby? from like, young women's, like, laurels leader, that's uh, 16 to 18 year olds for you uh, Gentiles and such, to uh, a primary teacher, which teaches Elementary eight. school kids. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Four to eight. Like, Literally, like, let's... She doesn't need all this, like, dancing fluff. around the issue. Like, just be straight with her. I think people... You've had some experiences in your life that have made you feel, like, different, where you yeah. did always live with us. Yeah. So why is a family important to you? Why is a family important? I don't know. How do you explain it? I don't even know. How about you explain it like you love them, right? Um, like, how, like, why do I oh love them? Oh, my God. Them? No, this like, is that's like what makes them amazing. Painful. Is that you love them, right? Mm -hmm. Right? That's what makes family amazing is that you love them. They're all your You'll love. She can't stop looking at the camera. Oh, man. Like she knows it's there. It is very it's much a part of the conversation. Yeah. This she's is like the well and even worse is she's probably in her mind going, She's already stressed. And on top of it, she's scrambling for words mm -hmm. because she's stressed, which makes her even more stressed. I just I feel bad for her, honestly. Yeah. This is really weird. So say yeah. love and also, if your family has wronged you, you don't have to love them, yeah. by the way. 
I'm just gonna put that out there. Love is a name, right? Yeah. Love is a name. You don't have to love them just because so you're So I think that the, one of the most awesome things in the whole wide world is love, right? Yeah. So when you really love. Making love. Oh, here we go. When you really love someone. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody and really care oh, about somebody. Verbatim. And usually commit to them, right? Yeah. So how how are me and dad committed to each other? What does that mean? How are we committed to each other? What does commitment mean? Commitment means like you make promises to each other. You love each other more than anything. You put them first. You honor them. You respect them and care about them so much that what did we do? Me and dad when we were like 20 years old, we got da 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 da. Good job. Oh my God. Holy shit. This guy thinks that she's an idiot. It's got to be so demoralizing to just sit there and be like, oh my God, my parents think I'm like an eight year old. Seriously. Like, <laughs> I hope that like, she like really, takes advantage of that me, though. If, really? If she's really going to have to be like this. She's not. I Seriously. mean, she probably could have got that if you weren't one, putting her on the spot, two, putting her in front of the camera, three, making her uncomfortable because you're fishing for an answer and she doesn't know what it is. Like, yeah. Seriously. Yeah. You got 25 points for that one. 25 points. No, 100. Ugh. So when people fall in love and they really, really love each other, there is a powerful thing that people can create with love. Wait, can I get that? What is that powerful like thing that you can create with love? Uh, doing it. Wham! Wham! <laughs> Oops, sorry. Else. Getting it on. Oh, babies are a powerful thing that you can create with love? Uh, and here's another issue. It's like my my brain is like hurting because and Mormons are very much guilty of this. Like, yes, we allow children to assign meaning to sex by saying it's for reproductive, having babies. Like that's part of it. But we also that's don't thing talk about sex for pleasure. Um, and self exploration. Yeah, and that is like not associating those things is kind of shitty because I feel like we're only giving half of the picture. Like I'm putting it in a box. Like who knows? She might One not box. want kids. And so then she's thinking, is sex even useful to me? Because you know, I don't want kids. Yeah. So why you Maybe know it's like, not useful to her. That's fine. Yeah. Could be. Yes. So Navy, do you know where baby? But let her figure that out for herself. Exactly. Yeah. Is... <laughs> yes. Where do they come from? <laughs> I'm not saying. Well, that, yeah, well, you can say that. Not. Oh yeah, we want her to feel like she can talk freely about it, but we're gonna shame her for bringing up her period, and then we're gonna be like, Why do you, you want to talk, talk to about us that? about this? It's yeah. not gross. Weird. Oh, God. Where do they Funny. Come from? Does a stork come from? <laughs> Does? Oh my where God. Come? Your stomach. My stomach, exactly. <laughs> and how does this, how does my stomach get a baby? Do I just? Let's reframe that question. How do I get a baby? How do you think I get a baby in my stomach? Do you have any idea how I might get a baby in my stomach? Has anyone told you Has anything anyone about this? Has anyone explained to you how that happens? Do you have any ideas? Literally any of those questions are like a thousand times better than that one that she just asked. Say, oh, I want a baby real bad. And boom, there's a baby. In if, you, if you're going to film this and put it on the internet, at least like rehearse what you could be saying. So I'm not here like absolutely destroying your questions because you're being an it's idiot. It's super and weird. Yeah. Mm. Not even close. Do I have to eat crab legs? Uh, no. no. Oh my god. How does the baby get you serious? Yes? No, I'm not, not allowed you, Siri. to be frivolous. God damn it. Swallow a special seed? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I thought when I was really little. When I was really little, I thought you had to swallow a special seed. So I was really careful when I ate watermelon that I didn't swallow the seed because I just oh, never knew what was going to happen. Uh, <laughs> oranges. <laughs> So how, did, how, what happens? Mm. What do you know of happens? We don't even have to tell our audience, like right here we could put music if you would like. So tell me what happened. Uh, How's the baby? I don't know. I don't know. No, well. Instead of putting music over it, you could just Not cut film it. it. Oh, but then your watch time would go down because there's no suspense building this up. is so I, mommy blogger yeah, though putting the content at the very end of the video so that you have to watch all Absolutely. this stupid bullshit before they actually get to the point yeah. not like a lot so i need you to tell me okay oh there it is i'm gonna cut this part oh 
there it was. Oh. I'll probably cut this out. God, this is still going. I'm gonna be cutting the shit out of this. It's even got a timer right there, so I know exactly how long it's been going for. Have any questions Jesus. about the logistics, like how it all works, or anything about well, as time goes on and you ask, like, get more questions in your mind or you talk about something at school or say yeah. something or you see something on the internet, do you feel comfortable coming to mom or dad or both of us and be like, I just saw this or I heard this and asking us questions? I don't know how that conversation went. She explained a lot and it looked like some the girl, uh, I don't remember what her name, um, <laughs> did not look like there was a lot of conversation going on. It looked like it was just a lot of talking at, um, but if it was anything like the way they set it up, she definitely does not feel comfortable with going to her mom about it. Well, and here's what we know from some of the research about sex education and parents talking to their kids. So I think coming from a time when parents wouldn't talk about it with their kids at all. Like there were like, that was my grandmother's generation. Wouldn't talk about it. My grandma never got the sex talk. Nobody ever talked to her about her period nothing. And so we went from that kind of to the next generation, which does this, which kind of, which has the sex talk and gives the information, but kind of pedestalizes providing that information. So we go out to a fancy restaurant and we, you know, you dress up and we make it a big deal yeah. and we go over all of it and you ask questions and, even though that approach is better than not saying anything at all, the research has told us that when we do that, then kids think that that situation has to be repeated in order for them to bring up questions or bring up um, like, oh, I heard this at school or like, so they're thinking that the only time and place that these conversations can happen is in the fancy restaurant with mom and dad. Because that's what you, that's where you explained it as. And even if you go out of your way to tell them it's not, that's what they think. Yeah. So it's important and research states that we should have these conversations frequently and often and in different places. In the kitchen, in the car, like that's what you want. And so Tiffany might not know this information, which is potentially why they do this. But I'm just giving you that information so you know. Yeah. I feel like a lot of um, Orthodox Mormons do not um really look into information like that. They just know that you need to teach your kids about the law of chastity because their bishop will be asking about it. So. Yeah. That's important. Right. It's a bird. <laughs> That's really important. All right, That's Daddy. Really cool. So. Oh, here Daddy comes the awkward part. So when a young man. <laughs> oh, God. Again, and here Here's we go. Gets Heteronormative craziness gross. right here. Yep. A woman, and he wants to make a special commitment with her, like asking her to get married. Yeah. He gives her something. What does he give her? Uh... Any guesses what is going to transpire right now? Throw your guess in the comments, and then see if you got it right. Not a kiss. <laughs> well, that too. We like when he asked to get her married. He actually walked yeah. down on his knee. <laughs> oh yeah, give her a ring. He'll go like this. Oh wait, dad's gonna do it. Oh dear. Oh no. And he'll open this up like this and say, Oh well, no. Yeah. Marry me. Yep, yeah, that's what he says. But I'm not gonna ask you to marry me because I'm already yeah, married to mom. Mom's already, so that means yeah. mom are gonna give you this. Oh, that's the reason you're not gonna <laughs> ask her. <laughs> The meshment, y'all. Gross. Can we get a close up on this ring? Because ring, you can take it. So guess what finger it goes on? Uh, a band aid finger. Your band oh, she oh, has cow nails. nails. That's What's so good? cute. Yep. Can you try it on? See if it fits. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, that's a huge ring. A band aid. Oh wow, my god. Is what is it? Oh, it's a. Uh, let me see if I can go back a couple frames so I can show everybody. There you go. You can't really see it very well. It's a heart and a key. Oh. Yeah, some sort of variation of that. The key it's huge. to your Holy chastity shit. belt. Gross. 
Nice. So see this? What does it look like? Can you tell kind of what uh, it looks like? Like a key. Oh. Like a key. It's it's a lock. Arm. Yeah. And the, and the stone in the middle is called a ruby. That's called a ruby. Mm -hmm. And that reminds me of the scripture that says a woman's virtue. Uh oh. Here we go. It's more precious than rubies. And so that reminds you of your virtue. Yep, your virtue. I'm gonna have to uh, fact check this shit real quick. Hold on. What? You don't think that's a scripture? No. It is. It is? Yes. Is it a pro Oh, it's Proverbs. Of course. Mormon crap. Garbage. Sorry, Proverbs is like the least insightful book out there. And to guard it and to like keep it under lock and key. Fun fact. Until your heart she said the word guard it, which makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. But that's because there's a book out there formerly, well, written by a formerly Mormon prophet who is now dead. But he basically said that, oh. you know, if you don't guard your virtue with your life, then you might as well die. Is that that public urinal at uh, the Salt Lake Cemetery that's labeled uh, Spencer W. Kimball? Yep, that's the one. Oh, yeah. Rest the book is called piss, The Miracle of Forgiveness. Guy. Yeah. That's literally the worst book that has ever been. So that's a really one positive of, message. Sorry, let me let me qualify that. One of the bo worst books that has ever been written. It's really great. It's opened by a special someone. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then also, you see how it's the shape of the circle? So what that's supposed to remind you of is there's like a circle of trust. See the circle? Yeah. It's like a triangle, yeah. but okay. Except the, the ring is, I like what she's doing here, but I don't. Also, the ring is open, so it's kind of like a broken circle, so. Sorry. There's a circle of trust that you can always tell us everything, and that we promise to be kind and loving and always listen to you and give you good advice. But one day, when you get married, that ring will come off, and your husband will be ring, and then you'll have a circle of trust with him, which is pretty cool. So will you wear that until you get married? So this is gross. <laughs> also, the audio. Oh my god! Why? She's why? got that whole time looking why at they the shouldn't camera. Have done that. Another reason why they shouldn't do it in a restaurant is just, a just yeah. shit that, that awkward? It was okay. It was okay. I have a question. Some awkward moments. Yeah. Do you trust a mom and dad? Like. Why is he like doing third person right now? Why wouldn't he say, do you trust us? Like, I'm just, no, like, do you feel comfortable that you could talk to mom and dad about anything? Or are there something? Look, of course she's going to say it when you're making a direct comment like that. Well, and she's being question, filmed. Like dingus. Be afraid to yeah, you really think she's going to mess up her mom's vlog by going, no, I don't feel comfortable. Like, no way. Talk to me about what you really want to talk to mom about. What do you think? How do you, how do you just feel? Um... So there's not a wrong answer. Just wondering. I think I need to be comfortable, like, telling both of you guys. Do you talk to both of us? Also, the fact that she keeps the camera on her the entire time while he's talking. Like, it's weird because then she's just on camera the whole time. It's, like, almost like an interrogation. Like, she wants it on her, not on her husband. Gross. But what, what's made you feel I don't like that. What has mom and dad done? Um, and it just makes you, because for some kids that are watching, they might be as scared to talk to their mom and dads, or for some mom and dads. Did he say as scared? <laughs> <laughs> like, what can I do to make my, my kids feel comfortable talking to me so that they will talk to me? Is there anything that you feel like that mom and dad have done or do that makes you feel safe or comfortable that you can talk to us and not be afraid to talk to us about anything that, even things that are hard or scary? Or Bro, say less. Oh my God. You are, <laughs> this is like the longest question I've ever heard in my life. Like that? You think that we, maybe, maybe a good answer would be like, why do you trust us? Do you trust us? Yeah. Why do you think you trust us? I don't know. Because I'm on camera. I just feel like you guys are good parents. Do we get mad at you if you've done something wrong and make you scared, or how do we act? What do we try to do? Um, you just try to like keep me safe. When we finally hear about <laughs> you getting in trouble, <laughs> what do we do? Well, I don't like this because this is like, here, kid, let me prep you and fish for answers about how good of parents we are for the audience. For the YouTube. Yeah, thanks, YouTube. 
Thanks. They'll listen to you and understand and not just go, oh, Nate, Because we all make mistakes, huh? And we all have scary things that happen to us. And so if we all feel like we can talk and communicate openly together. Oh, my God, dude. Then, then we feel like we can help each other. And that means, again, like you said, ultimately we love each other. We will do anything for you. We will always protect you. Even if something's hard Sydney's or bad. He's like, or wrap or it up, dude. <laughs> wrap it up. That's the whole up. point. This is not a conversation. This is. She looks so uncomfortable. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. I feel bad. You see that daddy right there? He is a good daddy. <laughs> he is a face. keeper. <laughs> Dad's oh a keeper. God. Dad's a keeper. All right. So I'm going to pull out this piece of lobster. Well, that was easy. Oh, he did. Anyway, I'm going to cut this little piece for you. All right. I want you to try this because it's different than crab, what you've been eating. Okay, a little different. And I don't want you okay, to waste it. I don't care that. about this. Yeah, I don't care about this. I think they do something when they get home. If I remember correctly. The jazz. Yeah. What? Maybe not. Okay. That was it. Okay. Oh, um, God. Oh, my God. That was... Sorry, we kind of blew past a lot of stuff there, but um, th- there was a lot to get through. I didn't care uh, Well, there about was, that it. wasn't really that much. <laughs> it was just... Uh, I don't care. This was so bad. Honestly... I don't... Like, my brain hurts. Yeah. I, I would love to hear someone's justification for why that needed to go on youtube um other than yeah so good on you for getting that bag uh but not really because you're exploding your child's personal life to do so Mm -hmm. yeah and the fact that you have like a formula is extra disgusting because you've already done it with other kids so don't do that Um, maybe read up a little bit too on how you can better dialogue with your children instead of just like a, um, priesthood holder talking. My God, that was like the worst. I felt like I was in Sunday school. I know, right? I would hate to be on the wrong end of a long winded comment of that guy during priesthood. Seriously. Seriously. So in summary, this was terrible. Yes. Don't exploit your children. Having the sex talk with your child doesn't need to be on YouTube. Yeah. When you're only and having it, yeah. it. If you want to um, have a dynamic that's uh, open, uh, hit up Google, honestly, because this, not it. Absolutely not it. There's literally so many resources out there that you can find. It's not hard to find. There's so somewhere. many sex ed resources yeah. out there now. And there's I, so much research that's been done. Yeah. I understand you want to exploit your children for money. Um. But do better at it, at least. Come on. Um, so, yeah, let's not shame kids for um, having their period, talking about their period, or even having their period, because that's nothing that they control. Let's not place our kids in heteronormative boundaries, assuming that she's going to marry a man. Yeah. Um, oh, but you're, oh, there's no gay Mormons, Jordan, so right. she has to marry a man. Let's not, I mean... And we don't know the actual conversation that she had, like, with Tiffany, because there was music there, right, obviously, which I'm like, that's, like, the least she can do. Um, So we don't know what that conversation was like. We don't know what the information was shared. I can pretty much bank on the fact that she didn't share anything along the lines of, you know, there's a poss- there are people who are intersex. There are people who are asexual. There are people who are not in hetero relationships. Yeah. There, there's so you know, much more that you... I. And I know that stuff didn't get talked about because... We know that. And they're like, you can't yeah. share that with a 13-year-old. You absolutely can. They These are concepts are that they Kids are absolutely ready yeah. for those conversations. You know why so. you think that your kids can't handle it? Because you... you've already poisoned them to think one way. So right. that's, that's just what it is. Educate yourself. Educate your children. Period. Yeah. So... A plus for talking to your kids about sex. Yes. Um, F minus for... A, exploiting it, and B, just going at it about going uh, about it in just a terrible manner. Yeah. So. So yeah. If you want to, if you're looking for like resources about uh, how to talk to your kids about sex and sexuality, don't do this. Um, I think what I'll have Jordan do is while I'm editing, she can look up some resources, put them in the description that are actually helpful and not just some mommy vlogger trying to make money so that she can pay her 10% to the Mormon church. Um, Whoops. Oopsie. They need another mall, I'm sure. So yeah, if you don't follow us on social media, 
check us out on Instagram and TikTok. We've got a a decent bank on TikTok. We posted today. I wish we didn't have to, but we did. <laughs> no, we did. Um, uh, at Jordan and McKay. Um, find us on Etsy. We have items related to this channel on our Etsy store, Happy Brain Collective. We have stuff in the works that we're going to drop at one time, uh, hopefully next Friday if everything's ready. We're looking into sh- making shirts. So follow Comment us what on... Shirts you want. On those, yeah, follow us on those socials. So we have you can a Discord check us out. as well. You can follow us. Not follow us. You can chat with us on Discord. You can join us on Patreon. Yeah. Uh, th- shout out to all our patrons from our patron only Zoom call. That was awesome. Shout out to our other patrons who are also awesome. Amazing. You guys are amazing. You they keep just us got going. a blooper video. Yeah. Check it that out. That was really embarrassing. I, we're, this one's going to have some bloopers too. So <laughs> it's amazing. So, anywho, thanks for watching. We hope this was entertaining. If there's other family vloggers you want us to cover so we can lose some more brain cells, let us know. Let us know. We'll probably be diving deeper into this one. But uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>